hello everybody hope you're doing well welcome back to another video in today's video we have the final match match day eight of the bookish world cup um round of 16 and we have france versus morocco yay <laughs> um what i did was i split the books in two um instead of three because it just was easier um and i have read like both halves and also quite a bit more of this one so we'll talk about this one first um the lover by marguerite duras um translated by barbara bray i think i built this book up in my head as being like very good and one i'm gonna really really love um because it's in a similar vein to some other like french literature about sort of like a doomed or like forbidden love um but i'm not enjoying this i think it's quite underwhelming very very underwhelming actually um and yeah i don't know the plot so it's predominantly set in like 1930s yeah um saigon or like um, french indochina modern day vietnam and um it's sort of like told like as she is in like more like a present day thinking back um and it's following a main character who is it named no no nah. i don't think any of them are named to be honest not really like only like the housekeeper but um anyway. um her and she she starts like a love affair at like i think she's like 15 and a half but like it's possible she's a little bit older than that but like she's around 15 to 16 basically um with a 10 years older chinese man like a businessman like a rich guy in like the the, the place where she lives in indochina um i'm <laughs> not really explaining it that well but um she is like a poor white girl her mother's a teacher um and um, she sort of like lives with the, her mother and her two brothers their father died when like before uh, not long after they moved from france um and i feel like the way it sort of like deals with like the racism and like xenophobia and like bad attitudes to the people living in vietnam that originally there and also like the chinese um like, like business people um that um are like setting up and you know creating industries and things in the country as well is okay um <laughs> yeah it's, it's all right like it's she's trying to say something but i don't think really much is getting across um and um yeah i don't know there's it's like it goes on like a lot of like, i feel like tangents as well and um just things that it's, i don't really see the point of them um and yeah there's also quite a lot of repetition as well about like her older brother's like bad attitude and like stealing and like drinking and <laughs> gambling and like it's like meanness to her and her younger brother um which I, I sort of like i get that like i know but like why do you have to keep going on not to say her experience isn't valid but like there is more you can say about sort of like their attitudes or something maybe but yeah i don't know um i don't know what to say about this book to be honest i'm just yeah not really enjoying it the writing is good the writing definitely is good um but at the same time i guess the formatting and the actual plot is just a bit meh um and yeah i don't really know what else to say um maybe i'll recollect my thoughts a bit more after i finish it i've got about 20 pages left um and give you a final thoughts then um but we come on to the moroccan entry uh, the godmother by hannah law Kea. um this is translated from french by stephanie smee i'm like i'm inundated by french literature at the moment because i'm currently reading these two in tandem and i'm reading les mis um so yeah i'm just reading a lot of french lit um but yeah this um 
little caveat i guess is it didn't like fully look at the description and everything about this book but it's 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 set in france and it's a french woman who is of um her father was from uh tunisia and her mother was from austria um and she fled after the uh angelus i believe um but also she was in a concentration camp so maybe that was when she was in france i'm not 100 percent sure but um yeah anyway just following this woman and she um sort of like translates from arabic the like drug calls and the criminal activity of people of arab like descent in france um for the police um to get like these people um like convicted of things and stuff and um she's sort of like she's 53 so she's a reaching retirement age come in um and because the translators get paid sort of like under the table sort of like they're, they're not actual on a proper like road tour and things she won't have any pension coming and her mother is in a like a nursing home which is costing a lot a lot of money so she's sort of a bit like what am i going to do for money in the future um and she's doing a one taping like translating and like dot 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 and she comes into possession of a lot of Moroccan cannabis. Um, and that is just sort of like where the story's going to go. And apparently she becomes this person called the Godmother. Um, and yeah, so that's sort of like the plot. I really want to say more because it's sort of like a crime fiction. You sort of need to work out things as you go along and stuff. Um, and yeah, so this isn't really appropriate for the moroccan entry but i didn't have any moroccan books and i just i thought this was the closest i don't know i feel a bit bad for doing that to morocco but sorry what i would say is that care she is talking about the experiences of like arab descended people or like arabic speaking people in france and how they're thought of and viewed especially by like the courts and lawyers and police systems and things and the very apparent racism and xenophobia within them um and sort of just like their like experiences um and i do think that is done mostly well um but yeah i just i i guess at the moment i'm just struggling to really enjoy the plot of this book really much what's happening um i don't really like the characters especially the main character much she she just seems quite bland and blasé in some sense as well um and yeah i don't know <laughs> i feel like things just happen a bit like um, very unbelievably um it's a certain bit where she's sort of like talking with like this drug like trader and producer um and he sort of like should be helpful of her of her in special intervention and she's like on the phone like like you haven't even said thank you yet and she's just like seriously love like really you you expect a drug producer to thank you like isn't that ain't part of the process you know it just doesn't make sense like um and yeah i don't know i'm not enjoying this i'm not enjoying lover either um for the halfway mark like they've both been kind of bad <laughs> um yeah i don't know it's nil nil currently let's see this if if this if this just continues to be meh then this might just win just on like writing alone but um yeah i don't know we'll see we'll see so i finished these two now um and i thought i'll just try and wrap this up uh we'll start with the lover um i didn't like this i just don't think it was done well seems like the relationships and discussion about her possibly and probably mentally ill mother and her abusive 
older brother are the focus really of this book and they take center stage over the storyline of the lover um which doesn't make that much sense considering that's not the title or the apparent you know like what it's going to be about um things aren't really just like explained well it's very like convoluted and messy um i would say it's quite a messy book um also i didn't like the time jumps like they're very like snap like that and um you sort of get taken out of the the thing you're sort of trying to read and understand you know put into like another situation another time frame another set of characters and stuff um and i just didn't like that um what else <laughs> again like the writing's fine but it's nothing incredible it's nothing amazing like i thought it was maybe a bit better to start with but as you just go on i feel like the the way the story develops or fractures in some sense just makes it more and more messy um i also i don't like the way that she uses um like the the, the term a or the chinese um and it's quite a lot in this book it's just well it's just not correct because that is sort of the way you talk about like a thing or you know or, or something not a person like you would say a Chinese person or a Chinese person or something um and I just didn't like that or appreciate that um also the lover in this is portrayed as quite like weak and cowardly and stuff um which is obviously not very good Asian rep um and there is very little rep really in this um and i just didn't like that um also the bit i bookmarked um <clears throat> which is just the bit that sent me i was like disgusting disgusting so basically a few maybe a few pages are beforehand she, she sort of takes on the role or sort of like the the, the name in this section of like the child in a sense and this quote here he takes her as he would as he would his own child he'd take his own child the same way he plays with his child's body turns it over covers his face with it his lips his eyes and she she goes and abandons herself in exactly the same way as he set when he started ill jail jail that's just no that's just disgusting like don't like why would, why would you write that like ill literally ill um yeah <laughs> no yeah i don't really know what else to say about this book so let's get on to the godmother um this also no i didn't i didn't enjoy it i didn't like it um, I don't want to say any more about the plot because it's sort of like a crime fiction, you sort of things unravel and stuff. But um yeah, I just I didn't like this character. I didn't really like any of the characters much. I thought it was very, very unbelievable and unrealistic and just the way things sort of take place and happen just don't make any sense to me. Um and as I was saying before, the main character I just you don't root for her at all like i didn't and apparently you're meant to there's a certain bit to where her mother is sort of like retelling about when she was in the like holocaust and um she was trying to escape or something and her dog like drowned in like the river where she was on the boat um and she's just like oh i've sort of like heard it before like this sort of like actually like, like very discrediting her trauma um and yeah also like the relationship with the mother isn't that well explored really like it sort of mentions it a lot but it doesn't really make that much sense of like why certain things are happening or why they feel this way and things um and yeah i don't know um also i really just didn't like the way it sort of glamorizes and makes 
drug dealing sort of looked like a reputable career and is painted in quite a good light um and it sort of discredits all of the harm and horrible like things that happen to people because of drugs and um dealing and the, the everything around it really it's just sort of made very simple and easy in a way and downplays the negative elements of it um what else um again like in in the lover she uses a and the chinese when she's talking about these certain people um and again that's just not correct um and yeah also the bit i bookmarked is a bit where it actually mentions that which is i thought was quite weird um it says at last thanks to butcher's presence and the power of the imagination of fused two utterly different places the estate became tunisia just as for marguerite duras the river sen became the mekong which is a bit weird tie-in even though i didn't like know that um but yeah um i didn't like this at all <laughs> can't guess the way she sort of talks about and discusses uh like the politics and um like racism i guess and like xenophobia apparent within the french like systems um i guess it's quite insightful um but like i don't really feel like it actually makes up for any of the sort of bad plot <laughs> um and characters and you know that sort of stuff and like believability of it um but yeah i don't know um who won this definitely not me um i'm probably give both of these two stars um yeah maybe i guess i don't know uh, let's just i feel like both of them weren't really trying <laughs> like i feel like they both were just as bad as each other like they both sort of like got near the goal and then just like instantly kicked it off um or like one did a really bad tackle and like gave away a penalty but like they miss it every time um it just felt like very like they was sort of trying a bit but just they were just bad basically um and i don't know what to say to be honest i really don't know what to say i feel like for writing this would probably maybe top it but for actual sort of like plotting i guess and creating a actual like story that follows and flows and as a whole thing probably this so i probably am going to give it to the godmother um it's representing morocco so france is going home now it's representing morocco but like this isn't a moroccan book and that is all down on me i didn't properly sort of like research it and things um but i was just trying to pick books that i already had when i was choosing this and this was the most apparent for a moroccan book but I feel like I've done Morocco dirty, like I did not represent your literature at all with this because clearly it's not a Moroccan book by a Moroccan author. It's just <laughs> dealing with some Moroccan characters. Um, and yeah, so in the future I will try and maybe like do like a Moroccan redemption and like re read some actual Moroccan literature. Um, so yeah, but Morocco you did win ever so slightly um and you are going through to the next round and yep let's see um hope you enjoyed this um make sure to come back next video for the finals quarter semi grand and third place match i'm really really excited to see who's going to win um and yeah hope you're nice morning even though wherever you are in the world bye